Load to Learn, making curriculum materials accessible. Hello, welcome to this Load to Learn video on how to make text on screen appear bigger. In this video, we will have a look at Universal Shortcut for Zoom. Then we will have a look at how to zoom in Microsoft Word, how to reflow in Microsoft Word, and then how to do the same thing with PDFs in Adobe Reader. That is zoom in PDFs and reflow in PDFs. First, let's have a look at a very useful shortcut for making text increase in many documents, including web pages. And that is a combination of the keyboard and the mouse scroll wheel. Every time you hold down the control key and scroll in or scroll out with the mouse uh, scroll wheel, the text, instead of scrolling up and down, will appear simply bigger or smaller. And that works in Word, it works in PDS, and it also works on web pages. Many people these days are using laptops without a mouse and just use a touchpad on the lap. And here you can use different gestures. It varies by laptop, but uh, many of the newer ones will use some so-called multi-touch gestures, which means you can simulate scrolling by simply using two fingers and, and dragging them up and down on the touchpad. And if you combine that with the control uh, key on your keyboard, then that will, instead of scrolling up and down, will zoom. Many of the older laptops, instead of having a multi-touch scroll feature, have a special designated area on the touchpad, generally on the right-hand side. And if you just swipe your finger up and down on the side, I like to do it by simply touching half of my finger outside the touchpad and half of it on it. So I hit that scroll area, then we'll scroll up and down. And if you combine that with the control key, then you can achieve that zoom in, zoom out feature. You can also zoom in Word by going to the View tab or the View menu and choosing Zoom. There you can choose exactly the percentage of your Zoom or how many pages you want to have appear on a page. The feature I particularly like is the Text Width option, which makes sure that the text takes up as much horizontal space on the screen as possible. But there is one problem with zooming in when you're using Microsoft Word. And that is that the moment you get to a certain size, the text simply disappears off the side of the screen and you have to scroll left and right to get to where you need. And that, of course, is very difficult when you're reading because by the time you get back to the original side of the, where you started, you find it maybe difficult to find which line to go to next. So for that, we need to use a feature called Reflow. And Word does not have a button that's called Reflow, but you can achieve the Reflow feature by using a special view that's called Web Layout. Simply go to the View tab or the View menu and choose Web Layout. And you will immediately see that the lines, instead of disappearing off to the right, break against the edge of the screen and restart again on the next line. So in the computer parlance, they reflow in the text. After uh, you don't need the reflow feature anymore, you can return back to the print layout view, which is a default view in Word. However, zooming in Word has another limitation, and that is that Microsoft Word can only zoom up to 500%, and that really is not enough for many people with visual impairments. Let's have a look. Here's an example of text in 12 point and 24 point as it appears in the magnification of 100% in Microsoft Word. In other words, no zoom. And here it is when we zoom into 500%. And you can see that that actually is not very much, certainly not as much as you might have imagined at the beginning. And here, what comes very useful is converting the text into PDF. In Word, if you simply save the text as PDF, you can zoom all the way to 6,400%. Let's see what that looks like. If you go that far and you start with 12 point text, you will end up with pretty much just a single letter or sometimes a syllable per screen. This is an example of what that would look like, but I had to scale it down to fit on this screen. This is what the text looks like at 2,400%. But for many visually impaired readers, that is the size of text they need. Even those who are using a dedicated screen magnifier, which is uh, most people who need that level of magnification, will benefit from using the PDF because of the reflow feature that Adobe Reader has built in. Here is an example. You go to the View menu, choose Zoom, and then choose Reflow, or simply type Control 4, which is the keyboard shortcut. And the text will immediately reflow just like we saw in Microsoft Word from an example like this, where the text disappears off to the right and left, 
to something that looks like this. And that means even if we zoom beyond uh, what seems reasonable, for example, to 1600%, and we only see half a word per screen, we know that we only have to scroll down and the next thing that appears is the next character in line. You can find out more about this in the Computer Productivity and Accessibility Cue Cards that you can download from the Load to Learn website. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. For more tutorials or information about Load to Learn, please visit loadtolearn.org.uk or contact us on 0300 303 8313. Copyright 2012 Dyslexia Action in RNIB. Licensed under the Creative Commons license by attribution for non-commercial purposes and shared alike.